So this is Moose, and he's basically uh, having fun uh, chewing on his guardian's hand. Now he's a six month old puppy, so he's obviously uh, in the process or just getting done with teething. So uh, dogs, puppies especially sample things with their mouths. However, one thing to keep in mind is anytime we have a dog, anything we allow the dog to do to us is what we're saying is the proper way to interact with every other human you meet. Ah. So this behavior, while you're trying to teach him to have a soft mouth, there are other ways we can teach him to have a soft mouth. And as you can see, he's going to continue yeah. going back and doing this over and over again because we taste yeah. good. You know, we have salt in our sweat. You know, our skin has a, you know, is influenced by what we're around. And so all those things can cause it to be more appealing. So for for uh, t or for mouthing, which is what we call that, I would suggest that you have a zero tolerance policy. Okay. Not even even if he accidentally touches you with his tooth, you immediately. What I usually do is <gasps> I yelp and retract and wait a second, and then I can go back to petting him, <gasps> and then I can go back to doing it. So now you notice he's not trying to nip at me. I'm sure she, he's done it with her, with Rosie, where he bites her too hard, she yelps, they, she probably backs away, yeah, they stop for a second, and right now the guardian is climbing, uh, or the dog is climbing all over the guardian. So let's go ahead, I'm going to have you just stand up, and then tell him, turn and face, no, stay right where you were, and tell him off, but say it like a drill sergeant. Off! Now grab his collar and pull him to the edge, but not all the way off. And then just so he's going to feel like he's going to fall off. All right. Now stay right there. So what I'm doing is, is we started off showing you how to stop the mouthing, but I'm showing you how to claim space. Don't let him on the couch. Her on the couch. Off. And let's ask him. Off. There you go. Now stay right there. Take a step to the side. I'm going to go through what we're explaining, what we're doing here off camera in a second. I just want to illustrate it. So uh, to a dog, basically to sum up, standing up is the most commanding position you can be in. So when you're wrestling, when he, Moose was climbing all over you and you were just kind of shoving him away, the only time the dogs shove each other is when they're playing or mounting. So anytime you shove a dog away, you're intending to say, stay away. What he hears is come back and wrestle with me. So standing up is your I mean business position. Now your authority goes whichever direction your hips and shoulders are pointing. So right now it's pointing at the TV. So if the dog pivots to the left, you should pivot to the left and keep the dog in front of uh -huh. you so until it's stationary. And then you can sit back down. So now he's, she sat down, he's over there, grab a seat, but keep your eye on him. If he comes over towards you, I want you to stand up abruptly and turn okay. to face him. Take a step back. Oh, that's Moose. I had him confused. Mm -hmm. All right, grab a seat. Oh, I wasn't talking to him. No, they're perfect. Stay. Now it's grab a seat. So you're having a conversation with him. He's saying, I want to get up on the same level as you because that gives him some rank or some status. Mm -hmm. So by denying him this access, we can help him see a literal distinction between the two of us. This is the importance of rules. All right, grab a seat. As soon as he sits or lies okay. down, you can sit down immediately. That becomes like a conversation. You sat down. When he sits down, he's saying, I'm challenging you less. So you sit down to say, that I appreciate you not challenging me anymore. All right, so in the future, anytime, with the mouthing, anytime his teeth touch you, immediately yelp, retract your hand. He doesn't have puppy teeth anymore, so it's not going to be as a sharp. Pause a second, and then reach over to start petting him again. If he does the same thing, yelp and pull it back. Just like I did before, it'll take two or three times, but eventually he understands the consequence of my teeth touching a human means the human stops playing with me. And I'm a puppy, I like humans playing with me. So I'll stop that behavior to continue to have them continue playing with me. All right.